Hey, good morning. It's June 2nd, 2011. Welcome. So you can call it the summer season started, right? It's a pretty nice day here in Chicago. Yesterday was beautiful. Uh, almost no humidity. It was in the 70s. <clears throat> Excuse me while I get myself put together here. And uh, it really was a nice day. I am going to take a few minutes today to talk to some of my critics. One of which was a gentleman who said, I don't know enough about U.S. history. Uh, and he was rambling a bit. I'm not too sure what he was getting at, but okay. You know, all, I, all I can say with some of these critiques is, well, you know, thanks for the comment. Appreciate it. You know, I know that I must have somehow hit a raw nerve for you to say anything, so you know, that's cool. Uh, I'm glad you're engaging me. You know, engaging in the conversation, and as you can tell, if you go back to the video, I haven't removed it. <clears throat> Let's see, the other one is from Smarter Than You. <laughs> I think that's funny. As, as a screen name or handle, that's funny. Anyway, he was saying uh, he supports Ron Paul. I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I have no problem with... Uh, you're supporting Ron Paul. Just understand, I'm not going to. I have a friend of mine up in uh, Minnesota. We met on the You for Prez page, man, years ago. We've stayed in contact all this time. He's a very smart, very respectful individual. We disagree on 99% of everything, but he's really cool. He's a real cool gentleman. Uh, he, When I first met him, he was working in Washington, D.C. as a um, staffer for somebody. Staffer page. I forget what they call the guy. If he pops in, he'll answer that, I'm sure. But um, so he's got an insider's view of how Washington works. And he, he is really into Ron Paul as well. And I'm like, <laughs> see, the thing with Ron Paul, give me a second here. Ron Paul has ideas. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Wrong tobacco. Ron Paul has ideas that are truly, truly, <laughs> truly, yeah, truly brutal, right-wing, radical ideas. And I've read at his book, unfortunately I never finished it, and I don't have it available right now. I read at his book, and some of those ideas... Uh, like, one, reducing the military footprint around the world, I could really, really buy into. But Ron Paul is a lot like Barack Obama in this one regard. You can say you're going to change things, but when you get up there, it's a whole different story. The other thing with Ron Paul... And I'm not exactly sure how to word this. And this would be more for his supporters to answer, if they will. What has he done to benefit, to build, to move the nation forward? See, <clears throat> yeah, I know, I should quit smoking. Tell me about it. What I see in him is um, a man who is respectable, respectful, who is trying to stop runaway intrusion of government into the lives of the citizens. But he's also trying to make sure the citizens understand that based on what <clears throat> he believes, that... They shouldn't expect anything from the government. Well, unfortunately, as far as I can tell, the days of communities coming together and helping each other out in the loss, as opposed to sticking your hand out into the government trough to uh, help you at a time of loss, uh, is no more. Now, I'm not the only one that said this. Dark Ages America, Morris Berman... It's a thick book. Go read it. You know. He gets into it in, in a great deal of detail <clears throat> as to 
the loss of community in the United States. So, you know, um, so I don't see that Ron Paul's approach is viable. Now, again, you know, if you want to tell me I'm wrong, that's fine. You know that. But uh, I'm willing to listen. But I don't see it. Anyway, the one thing I was going to do today was talk about uh, Obama's accomplishments, but I'm going to save that for another day, probably tomorrow. I've got from the uh, Daily Jeffersonian in Cambridge, Ohio, it was published on July 10th of last year, so it was almost a year ago. Uh, 40 of the top accomplishments of the uh, of Barack Obama. And uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Now, before you go off prematurely on this, I'm not doing this because I'm a supporter of Obama. I'm tired of the man. I like him on a personal level, but he hasn't done dick. And the other thing, there is something that irks the piss out of me. And mind you, somebody had to call, call me up on this one, too. It was back in, yeah, 2009. There's this idea out there that Barack Obama inherited George Bush's screw-ups. Well, yes, they were George Bush's screw-ups. No, he didn't inherit it for the simple reason the man actually wanted the job. The man actually did his damnedest to get the job. The man, a 50-state campaign to get supporters in every state across the nation. He did everything he could to get this job. So for people to say, well, he inherited this mess from Bush. No, he didn't. He went after it. The thing is, <clears throat> if you're that bent to be in the White House, you don't inherit dick. You're there to undo or to fix or to build. And again, we'll get into what he, gets, what he has credit for uh, tomorrow. So I'm getting a little long here. But this idea that Barack Obama is, you know, somehow a victim of history in this regard, no, he's not. He was put in the White House to fix this mess. And to the best of my point of view right now, I still haven't seen it fixed. Now, you know, maybe some of these fixes are long term. You know, maybe over the course of a couple of decades, we'll see, you know, vast improvements. <clears throat> Getting people to go to school, very good thing. You don't get results from that overnight. So, although, I'll be honest with you, I been working on a master's degree since 2006, still haven't finished it, <clears throat> and all I've got to show for it is a lot of freaking bills. So, you know, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Well, guys, I have definitely gone over my limit for myself for the day. I will uh, definitely get into the 40 or so points uh, that Obama has accomplished. In, in office, and I'll do that for you tomorrow. But I wanted to kind of talk about some of the other issues and uh, kind of get a get the uh, platform cleared so we can move on to other things. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you much for your time. I appreciate your uh, dropping by and visiting. I will, of course, talk to you later. As always, may your God go with you. Bye-bye for now.